this is our new ammo box stove heater fire pit that I made today I thought I would try it out and see how it works lid comes completely off and this is going to double as the feet and it has a little ledge that you can set the ammo can on top of and it won't slide off so it gets it up off the ground two inches there's two handles on the can to lift it. I have lava rock on the inside. There is a shelf inside here that I put and I put a thermostat. There is a turkey fryer igniter or burner inside with a valved hose going to the 20 gallon or 20 pound propane bottle. I'll turn the propane on. I'll turn the valve on. Turn the gas up a little bit just to see what we have here. You can see the, I put hose in the eyes and the nose of the skeleton's head. You can see that they're glowing and if it was darker out here, it'd be glowing even more. Once those lava rocks heat up, there's gonna be a lot of heat coming off of that. It's already pretty hot. And it's hot out here this evening too, so. That's about as high as this regulator will go. And I probably will not run it like that.
this is turned down pretty low just enough to get those rocks in there good and warm enough flame that you can see it's pretty too dark for me to see the temperature there but since I turned the flame down it is uh, climbing now you may not can see it here but at the bottom of this is a gap air gap all the way underneath that can you can see the skull on the back side A little bit, one of the eyes is lit up. I think I got a rock in the way of one of the others. You may not can see it real good on camera, but down in here, both of the eyes have a little bit of glow. Crank it back up, it's getting darker out here. Definitely can get warm. The skull on this side is glowing pretty good. And when you're traveling, you put the lid on there, you leave the lava rock in there. It's going to be ready to take the lid off and light when you get to your campsite. To have enough propane for this to uh, give you some use on a weekend, you're going to have to, I would say, probably take at least a 20 pound bottle so that you do have more to take with you when you're going camping. But even in the backyard in the winter time or when it's cool outside, or if you just want to watch a fire, this was a pretty expensive, inex this was a pretty inexpensive way for us to have a fire pit. And you could set your coffee pot on top of that can and boil water. You could put a frying pan on top of that and uh, fry up some bacon.